What's going on everybody, PF Solitude here. I'm gonna try and make a quick tutorial on how to install the OpticFine, um, LB Photorealism, and ah, I don't remember the shaders mod, not GLSL, but the other one. Um, it's the one that's a pretty nice alternative. Uh, you'll see. Oh, Sonic Ethers, thank you, Tabs. Uh, all right, now, first things first, uh, you're gonna need an extractor of some kind. Uh, whether it's WinRAR or 7-Zip, both of them are, well, WinRAR is kind of free. 7-Zip uh, is completely free, um, but, you know, personal choice, pick your poison. Point being, you're going to need something that can view zip files and .jar. Because um, you're going to be messing around with the Minecraft.jar file and you'll need to get in there somehow. Uh, so go ahead and install one of those. You'll also need uh, LB Photorealism. Um, this is the super awesome, you know, oh, it's real looking uh, one that super popular and it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to be using 256 by 256. Uh, you, you'll also need Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Uh, it's the really cool dynamic lighting one. Um, now, don't worry, I'm going to leave a link for all these. Um, for this one, in this video, I'm using Core Windows. I'm using no Motion Blur or DOF because Motion Blur just feels out of place in Minecraft. I don't know, that's just personal opinion. And I'm also going to be using Waving Grass and Leaves. And you'll also need Optifine HD. It's in the HDA2 thread, but don't use the first one. Um, use this one. Uh, and, or you can use the one from the quote, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's in that thread, but it's all the way on page 828. So once you get to this thread, make sure to go there. And I used download link one, I don't really know what download link two leads to, um, but it hasn't killed my computer yet, so I guess it's all right. Um, but once you have all those downloaded, they all downloaded zip files. Um, and I went ahead and took the luxury of just making a new folder on my desktop and putting them all in there. So I've got photorealism, that's the texture pack. I've got shaders, more shaders, more shaders, more shaders. Cool. All right, now, first things first. Um, oh, actually, make sure that you have not patched Minecraft with MC Patcher. If you have, um, go into your Minecraft file uh, go into your bin and delete the minecraft.jar. Then start up Minecraft again, just, you know, get a saved game going and then get out. So you have a fresh, new, uh, completely clean bin folder and an unpatched.jar. Because you don't need minecraft.jar for it. You don't have to patch it. Um, remember that. Do not patch Minecraft using MC Patcher in this case. All right. So, in order to get there, go to Search Programs and Files, and do, ah, uh, my keyboard is black on black, it's hate crime, um, do percent app data, percent, that is not percent, alright, and you're going to get this roaming folder, go ahead and click on that, and you'll go to dot minecraft, um, and you know, if this is new to you, you know, this is how you do it, if it's not, then you know, skip over it. Um, you'll have texture packs here. Uh, don't worry about that, we'll get to it. Uh, this is the important one. Go ahead and get in your bin folder. And once you have that extract extractor installed, uh, right click on minecraft.jar. Uh, right click on it, there we go. Uh, for me it's 7-zip. And you'll have something that's like open archive, review archive, whatever. Uh, go ahead and do that. So you get something that looks like this. All right now, click on meta inf and go ahead and delete that. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Okay, now then, uh, go ahead and get back to all your extra doodads. Now let me get this over here. I'll put that over there. All right, uh, first things first, go to Optifine 1.2. You know the one that you installed. Uh, go to that one, and you're going to want to right click, open archive. All right, now you'll see all of these in here. Go ahead and highlight everything and click and drag it over into your .jar file. 
and make sure it's not in one of these folders. It's just out in the open. And yes, we're sure we want to copy it. All right, so those are in there. Now you want to go ahead and exit out of your Optifine uh, zip. All right, and now go ahead and get out of your Minecraft.jar and you're going to want to go to Sonic Ethers. Right click, and this one you're actually going to want to extract and put into a new folder. All right, so I guess extract to said folder. Cool, all right, so now we have a legitimate folder for Sonic Ethers, all right, and note that you have to actually extract it into its own folder. If you try and run the installer from the zip, it won't work. All right, so once you have it extracted, um, get in there, and then you're going to want to click on installer. It's the one with you know all capital letters, you can't miss it. Uh, yes, we're sure. It's not gonna kill my computer. All right, now once this is open, go ahead and click on install mods. All right, initializing, unpacking, doing whatever it does. All right, cool, installation complete, so we're done with that. Um, now, that roaming folder, I didn't mention this earlier, but I went ahead and made a shortcut to it, so I don't have to do the app data thing every time. Um, so basically, navigate your way back to that dot in Minecraft, and then go back into bin, and then right click on minecraft.jar, open archive, all right, so now you have a shaders folder in here. Go ahead and open that, just double click on it, and navigate your way back so you are at, let's do ultra no motion blur first. All right, so this is mine. Um, some of you may wanna do ultra where it's the, it has motion blur and everything. Um, no motion blur is just a little cleaner, it runs a little smoother, you know, personal preference. Uh, so go ahead and open this one. All right, whoops, it did it on top. All right, cool. All right, so go ahead and go into this. All right, so you know you've got your composites here and your composite here. All right, so highlight all those and drag these over into the shaders folder in Minecraft.jar. Uh, yes, we're sure. All right, so you can go ahead and get out of the no motion blur. And also, I went ahead and went the extra mile and went with waving grass. Uh, so do the same thing with this one. Open, waving grass, G buffers, click and drag into shaders. Yes, we're sure. All right, and that's good to go. So you're completely done with the dot jar, so you can go ahead and get out of that. Now go back a few, uh, oh no, I take it back. Just go back one so you're in your dot Minecraft folder and go ahead and double click on texture packs. Now, wherever it is on your computer, take your LB Photorealism and you know whichever one you went with. I went with 256. Uh, do not extract it, do not open it. Just click and drag your zip file into texture packs. And that's good to go. So, everything is now in place. Um, like I said, do not run MC Patcher because then none of this will work. Um, that mod installer, automatically patches it so HD packs will work. Um, but I'm gonna switch this over to Fraps and let's take a look at Minecraft. Okay, here we are ladies and gentlemen, we are in Minecraft. Uh, now let's go ahead and go to single player. I'm not gonna bother with the texture pack just yet. Um, I just went ahead and made a world just because. Uh, now let's go and do play, cross our fingers, and bing bam boom there we go it is done the trees are waving I've got a shadow on the ground my character is funky looking um, and well there you go you have dynamic lighting and shaders in Minecraft working perfectly All right and if you want to you can go in options video settings and you got all this extra crap to work with I'm not really gonna go into that figure it out on your own All right but yeah just to let you know it does work uh, this is the default let me go ahead and get back on the ground See, look at that it's just beautiful look at all these pumpkins All right, so let me go ahead and get out of that alright so texture packs in case you're interested uh, LB photorealism 256 uh, go ahead and select it 
or whichever one you went with, it does naturally, as you guys already know, it does take a while to load, so let's just sit here and wait. I'm very impatient when it comes to this kind of stuff. Cool, there we go. All right, so it's switched over, let's click done, and let's wait some more, because Minecraft is horribly unoptimized. See, that's what I wish they would do. I wish they would like stop adding stuff and just optimize it. All right, so cool, let's go back in, and now the moment of truth. Play. And oh yes, look at this. Everything is flowing. The grass looks so pretty. There's stuff on the ground. Oh, it just looks so good. Um, but yeah. There you go. Um, now if I figure out how to get this working on Mac. Yes, I will post a tutorial, and if you have any questions, simply leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them the best I can. Um, but, yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, so, I guess, until next time, adios.